Jim Schubeck, and welcome to my YouTube video for Wednesday, May 31st. I'm going to spend a lot of time today talking about valuation. And as Thomas Boswell, the great um, baseball writer who had the good fortune of covering the great Orioles teams of the 80s for The Washington Post, wrote in a book called uh, How Life Imitates the World Series, um, I'm going to talk about Aaron Judge as being a valuation sort of metric. Um, now, for those of you who don't know baseball, Aaron Judge uh, last year broke the American League record for almost home runs in a season, Roger Maris's, without an asterisk. And he did it, uh, he talk about planning, great financial planning, he did it in the year before his contract uh, negotiation. So in, in March, uh, the guy signed a nine-year contract for $360 million. Okay, and many people said, oh, that's really outrageous some money, which it is. Uh, the second thing they said is, that's overpriced. No baseball player is worth that. I was at a Orioles-Yankees game last week, uh, sitting in the bleachers, as I always do, because um, I'm a man of the people, um, and noticed that 80% oh, of the fans who are wearing Yankees um, gear were wearing Judge gear. They're number 99 Judge t-shirts. Um, on the day, jerseys, not t-shirts, sorry. On the day that I saw them, the Orioles beat the Yankees in an absolutely listless game, 3-1. Judge did nothing. Um, there were outbreaks of, of various alcohol-induced um, shenanigans in the bleachers, which was an indication of how bored people were with the game. Flash forward to, to the Memorial Day game, where the Yankees beat the Seattle Mariners 10-4. Uh, Judge hit a uh, two-run home run in the, in the third inning, a one-run home run in the sixth inning, and in the eighth inning, he robbed a Mariners player of a home run by leaping into the stands. And as I said afterwards, hey, I'm 6'7", I should be able to get those. Okay, is this guy worth $360 million? I would argue, yes. And now we're gonna talk about the NASDAQ and NVIDIA and valuation. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get notification when we do our next one. Uh, I won't tell you when I'm doing my next baseball one, but it will tell you when I do my next one. We're doing about three a week. Um, if you would like more of my stuff, you can go to jubekpicks.com. Uh, that's free. Uh, it's got three portfolios. Um, and uh, my paid site, jubekam.com, has got six portfolios instead of just three. And we do some options and uh, ETFs on that. And today we're also going to put up a we're going to put up a, a link to a post on Jubeck um, picks called 10 stocks for the AI gold rush will go Nvidia and nine beyond. Uh, so it'll be free, but you'll have to, to sign up, subscribe to get emails from us. That's also free. Uh, and so look for that link down below. Okay, uh, here's a chart that um, really tells you. Uh, a lot about this market. The topic is um, how long can a dangerously narrow market run? And this is a, an indication of how narrow this market has gotten. This is the S&P down here, this big, 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 big fat line, S&P 500. This up here is the NASDAQ 100. And you notice increasing divergence. And what's really interesting is this, the divergence increases. Uh, last week, last week, the NASDAQ 100 which has got all the big technology companies, uh, Microsoft, uh, NVIDIA, uh, most importantly at the moment. Last week, the NASDAQ 100 was up 3.15%. Um, the S&P was up 0.28%. So 3.15 versus 0.28, big divergence. Um, over the last three months, the NASDAQ is up 18.88%. The S&P is up 6.14, um, and over the and for 2023 to date, uh, the Nasdaq is up 31 percent. The S&P is up 10 uh, percent. So you see, this this is the definition of a narrow market is when you have a, a very small number of stocks that drive the indexes up. You can see that that the Nasdaq 100 stocks are pulling the rest of the market with it. And the rest of the market is lagging behind because the rest of the market has got things like Costco and Walmart that have just recently given warning about how retail is gonna be tough. You've got uh, companies that are showing negative growth. You've got companies that are talking about inflation problems. But all of that doesn't matter because right now what people are saying is, hey, uh, 
if we're talking about maybe the economy is slowing a bit, I want to be in technology because they've got big, big growth. If we're talking about inflation not going down, uh, I want to be in technology because they've got big, big growth. Uh, if we're talking about the Fed maybe raising interest rates, the people are saying, I want to be in technology uh, because they've got big, big growth. At some point uh, in a market like this, the market either needs to widen out so more, most, more stocks participate or the market fails and everybody goes down because you can't really sustain uh, an upward trend if you have fewer and fewer stocks. And think about it. Uh, if you own NVIDIA, you might be thinking about buying more shares, but what's really important to you is, is there anyone who doesn't own NVIDIA? Uh, and the fact that as you move up in a narrow market like this, you get fewer and fewer people who don't own the leaders. Um, that means it gets harder and harder for the leaders to push upward. And at some point, people say, hey, I'm going to take my profits, or hey, uh, it's time to get conservative, whatever. I think this market is narrow. Uh, I think narrow markets can run for a while. I think that this one is likely to run because it, big technology stocks are seem like the safest place to be right now uh, if indeed the economy slows. So I would watch it very carefully. I don't think it's time to yet say, hey, uh, out the door, but you should certainly know where the door is. Thanks for watching. It's been Jim Jubeck. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you know we get, we're doing it about three weeks, so that way you know you get when they're going up. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, you can go to my free site, jubeckpicks.com, uh, or you can go to my paid site, that's Jubeck AM, which has got six portfolios instead of three. Uh, today, um, I'm putting up, there's a link down below, to um, 10 stocks for the AI gold rush. Uh, and from there, you can go to, again, a free story, uh, free post on TrueBackPicks.com. You'll have to sign up for my email alerts, but it's still all free, uh, no, no cost. And that'll give you the why for these 10 picks. So please think about clicking. Uh, thanks very much for watching.